The next problem is like this f of x is equal to 3x minus 8 for x less than or equal to 5, 2k for x greater than 5 is continuous. Then k is, we have 4 options, 2 by 7, 3 by 7, 4 by 7 and 7 by 2. This is a simple problem dear students, this I have taken from your previous CET paper. Limit x tends to 5 minus f of x should be equal to limit x tends to 5 plus f of x. Limit x tends to 5 minus means 3 into 5 minus 8 is equal to 2 k. Do you agree with me? 15 minus 8 is equal to 2 k. What is 15 minus 8? 15 minus 8 is 7. So, 2 k is equal to 7. If 2 k is equal to 7, the k must be equal to 7 by 2. Option D is correct. See how simple the problem is. This I have taken from your previous CET paper. From the same paper, we have one more question. Look at this f of x is equal to integral part of x is continuous at is a question x is equal to do not get confused this is dash 4 minus 2 1 1.5 you can easily understand this if I draw the graph of integral part of x look at this dear students okay. the graph of greatest integer function is clearly like this between 0 and 1, integral part of x is 0. Between 0 and 1, integral part of x is 0. Therefore, integral part of x is 0 when it lies between 0 and 1, including 0 and excluding 1. Between 1 and 2, integral part of x is clearly 1. Do you agree with me? Between 1 and 2, when x lies between 1 and 2, integral part of x is equal to 1. Between 2 and 3, it is 2. Is it correct? Between 3 and 4, it is 3. Between 4 and 5, it is 4. And similarly, between minus 1 and 0, it is minus 1. Minus 2 and minus 1. Minus 2 and minus 1. It is minus 2. Minus 2 and minus 1. It is minus 2. This is minus 1. This is minus 2. Got it? Now, let us try to answer this question. Is it continuous at x is equal to z 1? Let us see. When x is equal to 1, what happens? For the value slightly less than 1, integral part of x is 0. For a value slightly greater than 1, integral part of x is 1. Therefore, when it is less than 0, it is 0. For greater than 0, sorry, for x less than 1, it is 0. For greater than 1, it is 1. Therefore, definitely the graph is discontinued. Not only at this point, dear students, at any point, any integral point function is discontinuous. Let x be equal to 1, let x be equal to minus 1, 0 or for any integer function is definitely discontinuous. Therefore, option A is ruled out, option B is ruled out, option C is ruled out, option D is correct. You know, how do you say that option D is correct? See here. At exactly at x is equal to 1.5, in the neighborhood, the graph, there is no break. Therefore, this is considering this as 1.5. As there is no break, integral part of x is continuous for all the values of x except x is an integer. Got it? Now, let us go to the next set of problems. students, let us go to next problem. Limit x tends to 0, integral 0 to x square, secant square t dt divided by x sin x is. Option A 2, option B 1, option C 0 and option D 3. Look at this dear students. This can be solved using finding out integral of secant square t as tan t, substituting x square there and do it. 
See, look at this. What is secant square t? Integration of secant square t is tan t. So, upper limit is what? x square. That is limit, limit, x tends to 0. That is tan of x square divided by x into x into x. Reason you must be aware of this, dear students. When limit x tends to 0, sin x is x. Sin x tends to x rather. That is limit x tends to 0. Tan x also tends to x. That is x square by x square. So, x square by x square is equal to 1. Therefore, option B is correct. So, this is the concept which is being done directly. And of course, there are few problems like this where we will be using differentiation under integral sign that we shall discuss later. Now, make a note of this. Let f of x is fractional part of x and g of x is integral part of x. Which of the following is true? First one, f and g are discontinuous at x belongs to z. Second one, f is periodic, non-negative, g is even. Third one, f belongs to closed interval 0 to 1, f is periodic and g belongs to z. Fourth one, f plus g is odd function, f minus g is even function. Now, which among the following is true? Option A, 1 and 2 are true. Option B, 1 and 3 are true. Option C, 2 and 3 are true. And option D, 2 and 4 are true. Okay, look at this dear students. f is fractional part of x. g is integral part of x. Fractional part of x is a fraction and its graph is very much simple and clear. Let me explain you both f of x and g of x using the concept of fractional part of x. Using the part concept of graph, sorry. The graph of fractional part of x is clearly like this. Before understanding this problem, dear students, let us draw the graph of f of x and g of x in our days. First one is fractional part of x. Look at this dear students. Fractional part of x, the graph is a simple graph like this. So, assume this is 1. Between 0 and 1, it is 0. Between 1 and 2, it is 1. Sorry, between 0 and 1, it is x. Between 1 and 2, it is x minus 1. And then between 2 and 3, x minus 2, x minus 3 and so on. Do you agree with me? This is the graph of fractional part of x. Now, try to understand the graph of integral part of x also. How is the graph of integral part of x? Between 0 and 1, it is 0. Just now in the previous problem we have discussed. Between 1 and 2, it is 1. Between 2 and 3, it is 2, between 3 and 4, it is 3 and so on, between minus 1 and 0, it is minus 1, between minus 2 and minus 1, it is minus 2 and so on. Now, this is an important part of this problem. See, I will explain this with this once again, between 0 and 1, it is 0, Be 0 and 1, it is 0, between 1 and 2, it is 1, between 2 and 3, it is 2, between 3 and 4, it is 3, between minus 1 and 0, it is minus 1, minus 2 and minus 1, it is minus 2, this is minus 1, this is minus 2 and so on. This is about the graphs of fractional part of x and integral part of x, right? Our greatest integer function of x, our integral part of x. I hope to students, you have made a note of this. If you observe carefully, no doubt, fractional part of x is periodic, integral part of x is not periodic. Fractional part of x and integral part of x both are discontinuous at x belongs to set. Wherever x is, suppose x is equal to 1, fractional part of x changes its value. 2 say, and so integral part of x also between 1, 2 and all. When x is 1, x is 2, x is 3, for all the integral values of x, fractional part of x and integral part of x, 
will shift. That means to say the function is not continuous. And fractional part of x is periodic and integral part of x is not periodic. And fractional part of x, if you observe carefully, the graph is completely above x axis. That means to say it is always non-negative. And of course, integral part of x is either it can be either positive or negative. Fractional part of x is always non-negative. It lies between 0 and 1, including 0, excluding 1, whereas integral part of x is always an integer. Fractional part of x is not an even function, not even odd function. And so, integral part of x is also not even in our function. And f plus g, integral part of x plus fractional part of x is equal to x and x is always in our function. So, with this knowledge, let us try to analyze the options given. As I have already told you before, dear students, f and g are discontinuous at x is equal to z is 100 percent true. And f is periodic, fractional part of x is clearly periodic. I have already explained you this. f is periodic is true. Non-negative is also true. G is even is not correct. Is that correct? This is evident from the graph. You can see here f is periodic, f of x is fractional part of x. It is periodic and it is non-negative, but this is not even function. Therefore, option 2 is ruled out. Coming back to option 1, f and g are discontinued x x belongs to z is definitely true, it is not continuous. Therefore, 1 is correct. f belongs to 0 to 1 including 0 excluding 1 is 100 percent true, this is correct. f is periodic, yes, fractional part of x is a periodic function with period is equal to 1, that is also correct. G belongs to Z, what do you mean by G belongs to Z? G of X takes only integral values. Yes, it takes integral values. Therefore, G belongs to Z is also correct. That means to say, this is true. F plus G is an odd function. Fractional part of X plus integral part of X is always equal to X and X is an odd function. See here, dear students, you can observe carefully. F plus G is this y is equal to x is always a odd function. Therefore, this is true, no doubt. But f minus g, we cannot talk like that. Integral part of x minus fractional part of x need not be an even function. Therefore, this is false. We discussed a lot now. Now, we will start answering. 1 is 2 and 3 is true. 1 and 3 true, both true, option b is correct. Dear student, this problem looks like an IIT level problem. No, here I have taken this problem to make you, make the concepts clear to you because most of the cases you will be getting a problem based on integral part of x and fractional part of x. You might not get this particular problem in the exam, but there is a chance you will get a part of this problem in the exam so that you will be able to answer this. I do not want to take two or three simple problems and explain you and uh, say the mathematics is easy. No, my intention is very much clear. Dear students, you should be well equipped before you enter the exam hall. Right? Make a note of this. We shall go to the next problem.